Hey guys, so this is gonna be kind of like a chill, kind of like chit chatty video with you guys. I'm gonna be very real in this video and I am using my iPod to film this just because I don't know how long it's gonna be and I don't think my camera would be able to hold all the talking and blabbering that I'm probably gonna be doing in this. I'm sorry if it's kind of wobbly because the way that I have this set up right now is actually kind of embarrassing because I have no tripod to put this on. But anyways, um, I've been kind of dealing and struggling with a lot here lately and I'm gonna do my absolute hardest to try to explain to you guys like how I'm feeling and what's going on but- <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> from previous videos in the past where I've tried expressing my feelings, it has not gone over very well because I am absolutely horrible at explaining my feelings and I just I can't find the right words so I'm just gonna do my best and hopefully you guys will um, get where I'm coming from first of all I struggle on a daily basis like I've said that in I think my last depression video I made I told you guys that I struggle on a daily basis I know a lot of the times in my videos, like, I look so happy all the time, like, I'm always smiling, like, my life seems perfect. That's not the case all the time, like, most of the time I struggle every single day. Even on my good days I struggle, like, so I don't want you guys to ever feel like I'm faking anything, like, I'm hiding anything from you. It's just, as I've said before, and countless of times, and my videos, I have a horrible time at explaining myself and expressing my feelings. Even if I could tell you guys, like, I do want to be more open and honest with you guys about stuff that I'm dealing with, but I don't want to share certain things because they're kind of personal and they're like things that I'd rather not share on YouTube, if you know what I mean. There's a situation that I've never really talked about here on YouTube, um... And I'm not going to talk about it on YouTube because it's personal to me and um, I just, I'd rather not. That's like my personal feelings on it. I personally do not want to talk about it here. And it's no, no offense to you guys. Not like I don't want you to know. I'm not trying to hide anything from you. But it's just certain things you don't want to put out into the public. I've been, for a long time now, I've been kind of dealing and going through some very hard life changes. And it's stuff that I'm still going through now, so it's still kind of hard for me to talk about. But a lot of stuff's changing in my life, and I think that I'm growing up. Um, and I'm not saying, this isn't like me saying, oh yeah, I'm leaving YouTube. I love YouTube, you guys. I'm never leaving YouTube. For as long as I can, I'm gonna be on YouTube. The reason why I seem so happy in my videos is because, as I said before, I struggle every single day. When I make videos, like, that's kind of like my therapy time. Like, my videos are kind of what cheers me up and gets me out of those moods. So, it does make me happy, so I'm not really faking it there. You know, I will be going through something and I'll put a smile on for the video because I don't want to bring you guys down because it happens so often. So, I don't bring it up in every single video that I'm struggling and that's the reason why. But I don't want you guys to ever think that I'm faking anything or that I'm hiding anything from you. It's just, as I said before, it's kind of like personal stuff. Yeah, I'm not trying to be fake. I am happy when I get on my videos because that's what cheers me up. That's what makes me happy. So don't ever think that I'm like faking my feelings for you guys. I mean, there have been a few times where I've put on a smile and I wasn't feeling that way. But most of the time, my smiles and stuff in my videos are genuine. So I've just been having like a hard time lately trying to discover who I am and what I want to do in life. Um, you know, like the whole job thing. Like, I'm 22 years old. I don't have a job yet. And that's scary to me. Like, my future is pretty much, pretty much unknown. Like, I don't know what's going to happen in my future. Nobody really knows what's going to happen in their future. It makes me feel like I'm a failure. There are other people who are my age who have a job. Or there are people who were younger than me and got a job. You know, and I'm 22 and I still don't have one. I'm, I feel like I'm letting my family down. I feel like I'm disappointing them. 
I just feel like I'm failing right now. Like, I'm in the process. Like, my whole goal for the new year was, and I take this stuff very seriously. Like, you guys have no idea how seriously I take my goals and stuff. Like, I'm pretty much always sticking to them as much as I possibly can. When I start a New Year's resolution or a goal at the beginning of the year, I try my absolute hardest to take um, take it seriously. I'm not the type of person to start something and then just give up. Like, I'm like, I have to finish it through. So, one of my goals at the beginning of the year was to get a job and was to do all of this stuff. And I haven't accomplished any of that stuff this year. Like, this year has been, like, the complete opposite so far from what last year was. Like, la last year, I accomplished so much. Like, I got so much stuff done. And this year has been the complete opposite. I'm not saying that it couldn't get better and that, you know, I could eventually find a job. I know finding a job that you're actually going to like and are very passionate about takes a long time. Like, it's not just going to happen overnight. I realize that. And I do want something that I'm passionate about. I don't want to just get a job just to have a job. But it just makes me feel bad because, like, everyone around me has their life started. And, like, I'm still here stuck in this little rut of not having a job not knowing what I really want to do. I mean, I want to be a YouTuber. I want to do that full time. But honestly, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying that it takes a lot of hard work and time and you have to be very patient if you want something like that to happen. And I know I'm halfway there. I'm very thankful for um, the subscribers and the support and stuff that I already have. I'm still working at it. I'm still um, pursuing it. But... Uh, I'm just trying to find, like, a job in the meantime until that happens for me. Um, if it ever does, I don't know if it's going to happen, but if it ever does, I'm just trying to figure out who I am and, like, where I am headed in life. I don't know if this is making any sense, but that's kind of something that I've been struggling with lately. Like, I've accomplished small goals, but nothing, like, as big as last year. And that makes me feel like I'm, like, pushing myself one step back and I'm not moving forward, which I know that life kind of shows up and sometimes it gets in the way and I realize that, but, um, I'm just not accomplish accomplishing them as quickly as I would like to. Another thing that I kind of wanted to talk about with you guys is something that I'm kind of nervous to talk about, to be honest, and it's something that I don't really know, um, if I have or not, because I haven't really been to a doctor to see. It is something called OCD intrusive thoughts or OCD intrusive thinking. And I first found out about this from my friend. Uh, I was telling her that I sometimes struggle with my thinking. And she was telling me about this intrusive thought thing and told me to look it up and, you know, just see all about it. So I did, and after reading on it and, like, the symptoms of it and stuff, I really do feel like, you know, that's what could be wrong with me. And if you guys don't know what intrusive thinking is, pretty much it's just where you have, like, a very bad thought come to mind about yourself or about a loved one. Um, like, a really bad thought, like, a thought that you would never imagined that you would ever think in a million years and it's something that's completely out of character for you like I don't I don't really know how to explain it because I'm still learning about it myself there's still certain things that I don't really know about it but basically it's like thoughts I'm sorry I keep looking out the window by the way I have my window open so I'm like sitting here as I'm talking looking out the window but basically it's just like the worst thing that you could ever really imagine thinking you think with this um disorder I didn't even know that this was a part of a mental illness, but I had actually been struggling with um, intrusive thoughts for a really long time. Before. And I don't want you guys to like see me different, see me any differently, to see me as like a bad or a sick person. And that's honestly the reason why I was so nervous to make a video on this and let you guys know that I think that I might have it. As I said before, I don't know for sure if I have it. Or not, because I haven't been to a doctor to n find out. And I don't really have any of the other characteristics of an OCD person, like the other traits and the symptoms that they would have. I just have the intrusive thinking and that's it.
like I said, it's completely out of character. I've never, um, done any of the things that I sometimes get the thought of in my mind. I've never acted out on any of them. I'm mainly thinking them because I know that if someone else knew about my thoughts, they would think that I'm insane. Like, it's thoughts that you know you're not supposed to be thinking, but you think them just because you know you're not supposed to be thinking them. If that makes any sense. That kind of doesn't make sense. But I've been struggling with these since I was about 17. And I've always thought that there was something wrong with me. 17 was when I was really having like a really hard time. Like I was, uh, that was when I was self-harming. You know, I was really at, that was like one of the darkest points in my life. And I had been wanting my mom to take me to a doctor to see if I could you know, get diagnosed for depression, whatever, because I knew that something was there. I know, I knew it was some sort of mental illness, and it took them forever to get back with me on helping me find a therapist. And when I finally found a therapist, don't get me wrong, my therapist was a really nice guy. Like, he was so sweet. And, um, you know, you could tell that he, he was actually trying to help me. However, I sometimes wonder if I was misdiagnosed because he told me that I have anxiety. Um, and while I do think that I do have some forms of social anxiety because I get very um, anxious when it comes to like talking to people in big crowds and stuff like that, regular anxiety I kind of am doubtful about because I've never had like an actual what people would consider a panic attack. I know that everyone is different with a disorder. Everyone's disorder is different. I just, I don't know. It doesn't seem like that's what it is that's wrong with me. I didn't even know that was a part of OCD, like, and I didn't know much about it. And once she told me about it and I, uh, googled it and stuff, like, it just sounds like that's what it could be because I've been struggling with these thoughts and this thinking for a long time and that's part of the reason why I can't really describe myself because it's stuff that no one would really understand unless they're going through it. As I said before, I don't want you guys to see me any differently. I'm just trying to keep it real with you guys and lately I've been trying to um, keep it real with you guys on my channel and just show the real me. You know, I'm not hiding anything. I'm not um, keeping anything back. I'm just trying to be myself and put the real me out there. I really wanted to talk about this in case anyone who might struggle with the OCD and the intrusive thoughts um, and they've, they know, they've been diagnosed, like they know that they have it, to see if maybe they could help me and like leave me a comment and let me know like, what you think because I'll give you guys an example and it's gonna make me sound really weird. An intrusive thought pretty much like, say you are taking a knife, okay, you have a knife, and you're sitting there chopping up, like, a carrot or something. Just using this for, exa for an example. All of a sudden, this thought pops into your head of you just chopping off your fingers. And it sounds weird, but it is a real thing, and it is a real um, part of a mental illness. And I thought that I was, like, sick or, like there was something seriously, genuinely wrong with me. I thought I was going to have to be put into an insane, insane asylum or something because I didn't know that it was a part of a mental illness. I didn't know that, you know, it was a part of something that you can't really help. And I'm not saying that that's what I, I mean, I don't even know if I have it, but I have thoughts like those occur sometimes and I can't control them. I know some of you guys are probably like, well, if you have a thought like that, why don't you just stop thinking about it? Why don't you just think of something else? Well, if you can't control it and you can't stop yourself from thinking about it, and the more that you try to get yourself to stop thinking about it, like, the worse it makes it, doesn't that sound like a mental illness to you? Because you might see me so differently after this video, but I just, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know if I have anxiety. I don't know if I have another mental illness. I don't know if I have this. I, I just, I really don't know what's wrong with me. As I said before, I'm going through some very rough life changes and I've been dealing with a lot and I just don't know who I am. I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on, but I wanted to keep it real with you guys. And it does make me feel less alone reading other people's stories and stuff on the intrusive thinking um, knowing that I'm not the only person who 
has struggled with this. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if that's what it is, but I did read that you can have an intrusive thought and not have OCD because, as I said before, I don't have any of the other symptoms of OCD. I don't know if that's what it is, but to me, that's what it sounds like, and it just helps knowing that there might be some sort of a explanation for whatever it is, and it's not just me thinking all this weird shit in my head, you know? That's pretty much all I really wanted to talk about, but I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. I hope that none of you choose to see me any differently after watching this video. I, I think that all of your true people who are in your life will love you unconditionally no matter what. They'll still be by your side. I, it's like that Dr. Seuss quote that I always bring up. I haven't brought up in a long time in my videos, but be who you are and say what you feel because those who matter don't mind and those who mind don't matter or something like that. I could be wrong, but it's it's like that. It goes, And that's the way I see it. Like, the real people who love me will be by my side regardless and love me unconditionally. And so I had to get this off my chest and I had to get it out there and I hope you guys understand. Yeah, if you know anything about this disorder or if you have it, if you struggle with yourself, feel free to let me know um, any more about it that you might, that I might not. At the moment, I can't really go to a doctor, um, unfortunately. To see if there's anything wrong with me. To be honest, I don't feel like I've gone this far without a doctor. <laughs> and I know that something's wrong with me. I know that it's some sort of mental illness. I just don't know what it is. And if I can make it this far without one, what's a doctor going to help me with? You know what I mean? Um, I do feel like it would help actually being diagnosed with whatever it is, you know, because that will answer all the unanswered questions. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And, yeah, I just, I had to get this off my chest. And, yeah, thanks for watching.